Welcome back. You caught me right in the middle of working on my project board. I've already started adding tasks and noticed a few things are missing. First, I want to set the dependencies between the tasks which are dependent on another task. For example, I can't prepare the key cards until I've finalized the key card list. Don't sweat it. Once you have set the dependencies in the dependency column, we can add automations to make sure the timelines stay intact if anything changes. So, for example, this automation will make sure the timeline of any task always starts after the date of the task it's dependent on. Great! Does this automation also update the timeline of any tasks when there are changes made to the timeline of its dependent tasks? No, but we can add another automation just for that. We'll add the automation, adjust the date of an item to reflect the changes made in the date of its dependency item. Patricia, I see the template already has another automation to notify the task owner one day before the task is due in case it's not done. Do you want to keep this one? Sure, but let's change it to notify them two days before to give them a bit more time. Looks awesome. One last thing I'd like to do is to take care of my task statuses. I have lots of big tasks which I've broken down into subtasks using the sub-items. I have a separate status column for my subtasks. When all of the subtasks are marked as done, I'd like this to be reflected in the item level status column automatically. No problem. We can easily automate this using the automation. When all sub-items of an item have the status of something, change the item status to something. Next, let's take a look at the Gantt view. This is where you can see your project's planned schedule and its tasks between a start and finish date. This looks really good. Agreed. It's grouped by the groups and you see every task, its date, and the dependency. One thing I'd change is I'd like to color the tasks by status. Done. We've customized your automations and Gantt view. I have to admit, I really love the structure. I don't think I'd want anyone else in the team to be able to change it. We can actually prevent them from changing things by using board permissions. There are permissions which limit changes to the structure of the board, or you can make it view only by limiting editing rights. I want everyone to be able to view and update the tasks, but not to touch the placement of the columns. So let's make it so that the team can just edit the content, but not change the structure. Amazing! This board is just what I need for all my launches. Great! In the next video, we'll learn how to save this as a template so we can use it for each of the three launches. And we'll also build a dashboard to tackle your reporting needs. But first, let's practice what we've learned.